What is up everybody down here and today I am on Warzone. If you couldn't tell by the title, I will be showing you the best class to be using on Warzone, you know, to get your best finish and all that. Now I might go ahead and say that this is completely OP and you might even change some stuff. They might make it they might nerf the weapons for Warzone and stuff like that. So yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna get straight into it. So for the primary weapon, we will be using the AX. 50. Now the attachments we'll be using is monolithic suppressor, main reason, you know if you're shooting from a distance you don't want to give away your position and at the same time the monolithic suppressor also gives this gun more range which is important especially since this isn't as strong as the HDR so you want to be able to get as much damage range as possible. Next we are moving on to the 32 inch factory barrel, reason being it's like you know similar to what I was talking about with the HDR, it's not as strong, it doesn't have as good a uh, bullet velocity so you'd want to stick this on to get as much range on it as possible now obviously stuff like this will bring down the ads speed but that's why we have everything else on it that should help now obviously we do have the tack laser at times this can give you away but chances are you won't be holding this out in close combat because you know that would be a little ridiculous but this is going to increase the ads speed which is the main you know importance to this it has no real cons other than the laser being visible to enemies but that Realistically shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now for the stock we will be using Singard Arms Assassin. Once again it is exactly for the ADS speed. Aim stability it's not necessarily going to be important because chances are more than likely you'll be hard scoping in this because you know you want to pick enemies off from a distance, enemies off in a random field or on top of a building or you could even be looking down from the building. You know you should, you, if you can't aim with a sniper you kind of really need to go back to boot camp I'm just saying for the final thing it will be a rear grip tape it is the stipple grip tape because not only does this give you ads speed it also gives you sprint to fire speed so say for example you're running through a field someone else is running through a field you spot them but they spot you you want to be able to stop running as quickly as possible and be able to bring up your scope and fire yet again this does decrease aiming stability but it's not a dr dramatic you know, difference, it shouldn't really affect you, and if it does, well, God fucking bless you. Now, for the second weapon, we will be using, obviously, the M4. Now, we all know that this is probably one of the best guns in the game, because it's quite literally one of the best guns in the game. Now, obviously, for the barrel, we will be using the FSS 12.4 inch Predator. Reason being, sound suppression, very important, and ADS speed. Yet again, very important because if you don't have anything on this gun, it's going to be very slow. You don't want that, especially when you're getting into close quarter combat. For the laser, you can either go with tack laser or 5 mil. I'm guessing it's milliwatt, honestly, I can't remember. I'd be fair, I didn't really fucking know to begin with. But you can use the 5 laser. Reason why I'm using the 5 and not the tack laser is because hit, uh, sprint to fire speed. You could be using the ADS speed, but. Sprint to, sprint to fire speed is more so a little bit more important especially in close range battles because you know hip fire actually as well you can literally just spray them whereas if they take the time to aim down and everything that slows them down a little more obviously it does have the con with the laser being visible to enemies but you know if you're good enough you shouldn't be that shouldn't be too much of a problem obviously another tip as well with the whole laser thing make sure instead of shining straight through a doorway or through a window make sure you're looking at the frame of a door or something like that so it doesn't go through and enemies can't see it and you know get the jump on you effectively for the optic i suppose this is more really preference i chose to go with the operator reflex sight you can choose to use the hollow sight the crowning this fucking thing if you want you can even choose to use this awful ugly looking fucking thing now me personally i would i like the site that's currently on it oh jesus christ imagine trying to use this F jesus christ next thing we are moving on to is a rear grip tape yet again we will be using stipple grip tape it also gives you it obviously gives you ads speed and sprint to fire speed very important aim stability like yourself the sniper view you, you should be able to aim you should. And for the under barrel, we will be going for Commando Foregrip. Out of everything here, I mean, this is one of the most useless things I've ever seen in my life. An under barrel grenade launcher for a smoke screen. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, get me right, it's completely fucking useless. The amount of people that use thermals in this game is absolutely ridiculous. 
Now obviously with the loadout drop you get the perks that come with that class so now we're going to get straight into the perks. For the first perk it is going to be double time, if you couldn't tell this is going to be a rather you know fast paced class, you know get to a, get to building the build and be able to help out your teammates, get somewhere as quickly as possible and be able to get out of dodge of gunfights and stuff like that if you can't take them on. Overkill is going to be very obvious, you need overkill for both weapons, you know, if you want that M4 you're going to need overkill or, you know, vice versa. And for the third one it is going to be amped, because you never know, you could be running with your sniper out, you could be get ambushed or something like that. And, you know, you want to be able to switch to your M4 as quickly as possible, so amped is probably one of the most important things. Now, you could use the likes of spotter and battle hardened, because, you know, fair, I guess stun the fair bit in this. Not as much as I used to, and spar is good for you know I've been I've been killed or at least been weakened and then killed by a lot of claymores and stuff like that. So this would be useful for like endings where it ends in a building or just genuinely going against um, campers and stuff like that. I've seen people use tracker against me as well, which is very fucking annoying because it seems to work. Now for the leads. Ideally you can probably go with anything, I tend to pick when I don't have C4 or anything, I tend to go with a Semtex or a Frag Grenade. Sometimes a Molotov because of how effective they really can be and I, that parrot is fucking screaming. Trowel Knife, unless you have very very good ammo, um, I wouldn't recommend it. Proximity Mine, if you're an arsehole go ahead. Termite, I don't know because I've seen someone chase me and then kill themselves with their own Termite which <laughs> it was quite funny, I'm not gonna lie. Now for the tactical, I would highly recommend the Harpy Sensor. Now I'm not 100% sure if cold-blooded... I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Still visible to recon drones but cannot be marked. I'm not 100% sure if they give you away or hide you from a Harpy Sensor but I notice not a lot of people do use it if that is the case. So a Harpy Sensor can sense people up there about 50 meters I believe so you know if you're afraid of going into a building, pull out the harpy sensor, check, you know, see, like if you're coming in from the front, just literally hold your harpy sensor, see which direction they're in or if they're in there. I wouldn't recommend going to stim shop because of how frequently you can find them and to be fair you only get two. It does kind of run with that fast sort of play style but ideally, end game and stuff like that, you don't want to be dying too quickly or anything like that or you don't want to be dying to people sitting in corners. Harpy sensor is definitely the way to go. Stun grenades and flash grenades are also useful. I suppose a stun grenade personally is more useful to me than a flash grenade. Reason being is because a flash grenade completely blinds and deafens people. You still have full mobility whereas a stun grenade you're completely slowed down. You may be able to see but if you see somebody strafing to your left you don't... your person can't physically turn quick enough to the left to be able to shoot them so technically if you still lost that battle unless they have a fucking pellet gun. Snapshot grenades fucking useless don't even touch these things. Decoy grenades I've seen these being thrown at me multiple times and I'm not gonna lie they have caught me off guard I will not lie about that but I've yet to die to someone throwing one at me I'll tell you that. So there we have it for this class now as you can see both classes aren't necessarily ranked up to the most but like well the sniper is ranked up all the way the M4 is like two levels away and I believe all you get is like a scope or like an a not even an attachment but rather a perk so I do have everything that's needed unlocked for these guns. In my opinion this is one of the strongest classes you can use. The sniper helps you at long range and sometimes medium range depending and the M4 that I've created can help long range or longish range but more so medium like sort of in between medium to long and obviously short distance as well depending on how quick you are and how you use it movement also comes into this i would recommend using the strafe and also sliding you just you need as much mobility as you can in this game vehicles help a lot as well but be wary people have c4s and rocket launchers the rpg the peeler and stuff like that so if you are to get into a vehicle i'd recommend the truck because that takes like two shots away I think it's two to three shots of an RPG, so you'll be grand for the full shot once your teammates on the back don't get hit. That's if you are playing with teammates, obviously. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you have enjoyed it, first of all, I'd recommend giving this class a go. Share with your friends, tell them that this class is OP. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to see more content like this or content in general, don't forget to subscribe. This you are the next video. Peace.